Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you a journal that I've completed. Um, I just got halfway through doing the first video and the camera cut out. I've got too much on my phone, so I had to delete some stuff and come back and start again. Sorry, I just had a drink, it's so hot. Um, this little journal is, uh, no, I've just measured that and I can't remember, six and three quarters by four and a half with a two inch spine. Uh, it's made with um, some recycled cardboard from a box of some sort, I can't remember what the box was and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, and I covered it in fabric which is like a cream calico type material and then I covered it in this lace which I've got tons of and now I've got something in my eye um okay so yes covered it in the lace don't want to cover that up so I just put a book plate on there the book plate's been inked up it's been mod podged um several times and the word beautiful is from Marion Smith um one of her um discontinued lines um of her digital uh, downloads and I put some glossy accents on that glued that on it's got some um, like antique type brads then I recovered the spine with some more of the calico um, and I added some of the dainty trim as you can see that um, on the front and the back and then just added some pearl uh, pearl, flat back pearl on the front. Sorry, my eyes still water and I can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, it's got lots and lots of um, eyelash trim, uh, seam binding closure, it's got some eyelets in there and we will do a flip through. <clears throat> Let me see. There we go. I always add quite a lot of seam binding so that Obviously, if the journal expands, you've got plenty of room to tie it up with. Right, <clears throat> so inside here we've got a, a pocket just created from um, coffee dyed paper. Just folded it over um, three times and glued it together, inked it up and done some stamping. This eye is really watering. <laughs> um, an index card which has been inked up and a stamping up uh, a tab punch on there. All the papers have been coffee dyed. <clears throat> Here I've got one of the um, jelly bean soup um, scalloped pockets. Put some lace on here. There's lots of places to journal. There's lots of tags and lots of tucks. Um, this tag is from the Tim Holtz tag and book plate die, which that comes from. Um, so I've added quite a few of them. Love how all the um, coffee dyeing has come come out because this week where it's been so hot I've been just coffee dyeing everything leaving it um, outside on some trays and you know going back over them and spraying them and they've come out absolutely gorgeous love them doily more paper some stamping got a little uh, envelope pocket here which opens so you can hide some stuff in there and it's got a butterfly with some bling uh, paper bag here and some just some coffee dyed paper some more lace on here and oops I just wiggled the camera <clears throat> some more tags stamped this on and then coloured it in with um, some Prisma mark uh, not markers pencils this is a glassine bag another tag and I think this is from I think um, the cameo shop on Etsy. I think I never get that one right. I never never remember which one it is. Um, some more tags, <clears throat> and this was inspired. This little one, this journal was inspired by Rita Donnelly. She makes the most loveliest, cutest little journals, um, and especially like her fabric ones that she's shown recently. Um, and I've absolutely fell in love with them um, and I've actually got one of Rita's journals because um, we've done a swap and I adore it and it's fabric um, so yeah I will put um, a link to Rita's channel below um, this is where I got that I idea well I've seen this um, 
on loads of people's but Rita's been using it and she really heavily inked hers up but she'd added some strips of paper like behind <clears throat> behind um, like the pocket but I couldn't be bothered to do that so I just left it as it was um, another um, jelly bean soup pockets and these were just some downloads and I really can't remember where I got them from but they were from Etsy um, some more of these tags love the marks on this from the tray just a little tuck here with a butterfly and I'm bouncing this out around all over the place um, a envelope that you can put things in another corner tuck and this lifts up that's been coloured in the other side of the paper bag and this has got a Prima journaling card inside there some more stamping some more lace trim here and this is actually open there so you can actually tuck something in there you might have to add a paper clip or something but you can do another tag <clears throat> a index card and this is just some book page I think it's a dictionary book page as a side tuck and that's been doubled over second signature <clears throat> excuse me another tag we've got some lined paper in there as well another tuck and a tag doily some dainty trim um, another tag in the pocket another glassine bag with a tag I do love this Tiffany and Cole um, download. Uh, some, this was the the last of this that I had, and it was bright white, so I just coffee stained it to dull it down a little bit. It was too bright. Another tag, another envelope, some more coffee dyed paper that you can do some journaling on another large tag and that's just all these large tags are just clipped on with a paper clip love this paper um, inside here we've got this is a Marion Smith um, envelope so you can put things inside there and this is just a index card which has been coffee coffee dyed and inked up and the same there do some journaling on here another doily tuck another prima journaling card another um, jelly bean soup pocket with some trim on here another envelope which is just like so done some stamping in that one and lost my paper clip there we go another tuck made from book pages another large tag done some um, corner punching on some of the pages as well and that flips up like so and in the back we have another index card so that is my journal and I've already prepped my next journal so I might start that later I'm not sure but there you go uh, this will be listed on my Etsy and the link will be below to that um, if you've got any questions just ask and don't forget to check out Rita's channel which will be below she makes awesome journals um, and this feels really nice as well it, it's actually a good size and there's only two signatures in there um, I don't know how many pages but 
the full description will be on Etsy if anyone's interested. Um, hope you're all having a good day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.